What's up guys, it's me Boxing, and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Dillian White versus Alexander Provekin, which will be a 12 rounder for the interim WBC Heavyweight World Championship. And this fight is going to be Saturday, March 27th in Gibraltar. And this fight is going to be broadcasted on DAZN in the United States and Sky Sports Abroad. And again, both fighters, Dillian White. Fighting out of Brixton in the UK, has a record of 27 wins, 2 defeats, with 18 wins coming away with knockout. He's currently ranked number 8 by Boxrec and is the former interim WBC heavyweight world champion. His two lone defeats come to Anthony Joshua by knockout in 2015, as well as a knockout loss in his last outing against Alexander Provekin in their first fight. But he has a very, very good resume, as he has two wins over Derek Chisora, one by split decision, one by knockout. He also has a unanimous decision victory over Robert Hellenius, a knockout win over Lucas Brown, a unanimous decision victory against Joseph Parker, a unanimous decision victory against Oscar Rivas for the interim WBC Heavyweight World Championship, then a unanimous decision win over Marius Wok. And again, to his opponent, Alexander Povetkin, fighting out of Chekhov, Russia, he holds a record of 36 wins, 2 defeats, and 1 draw, with 25 wins coming away of knockout. He is the former WBA regular heavyweight world champion and is the current WBC interim heavyweight world champion. And he won that uh, regular title against Ruslan Chagayev years ago in Germany, and he defended that title four times, then took on Vladimir Klitschko and lost a wide unanimous decision. Then after that Klitschko loss, he rebounded by getting wins over Manuel Shark, Carlos Sakam, uh, Mike Perez and Mario's walk and then after those few wins he took on David Price then took on Anthony Joshua and lost by knockout in the seventh round but he did hurt Joshua in the first and then after that Joshua lost he took on Huey Fury winning via comfortable unanimous decision then recently in December of 2019 he took on Michael Hunter and uh, got a split decision draw even though I thought Hunter won that fight and it was very very close could have went either way and then in his last outing, as most of you guys know, after coming back from being dropped twice, he knocked Dillian White out in what was the knockout of the year to become the interim WBC uh, heavyweight world champion. And this fight, I've been seeing a lot of mixed predictions. Some people are predicting White by knockout, some are predicting White by decision, some are predicting Pavekin by knockout. And it's honestly a 50-50 fight. I just think Pavekin is the worst of the two when it comes to being a boxer because Pavekin's 41 years old. Um, and in the first fight, he was getting outworked. He got dropped twice, and it looks like he was on his way out there until he landed that one lethal uppercut that sent Dillian White out cold. But um, Dillian White has always been susceptible to uppercuts, as I've been saying in many of my videos. As White has been dropped by an uppercut against Oscar Rivas, uh, as well as Anthony Joshua, um, even Joseph Parker. When he got dropped, it was set up by an uppercut, as well as the fatigue that um, Dillian White was feeling. And he's just been dropped by so many uppercuts in his career that it poses the question... Alexander Provekin could get White out of there again, as Dillian White definitely is one of the worst chins out of all of the top 10 or top 5 heavyweights, if you want to include him there. But um, Alexander Provekin is ranked number 4 by Boxrec, so he's amongst the top, and so is Dillian White. Before the loss that Dillian White took against Povetkin, um, he was ranked um, in the top 4. Many people were considering that he could have beat Anthony Joshua if they rematched, but... Um, from this setback against Alexander Provekin, it's very unlikely, just based off of his chin and fighting a power puncher like Joshua, it just won't add up. But um, I'm actually predicting Dillian White to win this rematch. I mean, always there's a huge chance that Alexander Provekin could land one shot and knock Dillian White out again. But I just think that's going to be very unlikely because many people, including myself, think that was a lucky shot. I mean, Provekin was just out of it. I mean, he got dropped twice. Dillian White came over. He got a little sloppy and just let Povetkin just land one shot through his guard and knocked him out. But um, I just think Dillian White might be a little more cautious this time, trying to box on the outside, land his shots, and drop Povetkin. I could definitely see a Dillian White unanimous decision win to retain his interim WBC heavyweight world title. But my prediction will be that Dillian White boxes on the outside, counters Povetkin very much, and knocks him out. And... Um, the rounds for the stoppage will likely be from rounds 5 through round 8. I just don't see it going past that or before that. I see White breaking down Povetkin, um for the first 5 or 4 rounds before 
White starts to set up Pavekin with huge power shots, and he will drop him multiple times and get the stoppage victory. So overall, I think Dillian White will regain his interim WBC Heavyweight World title and go back into the major world title picture after he knocks Alexander Pavekin out in their rematch. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm going to be boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.